fail. <laughs> this could be on dirtiest jobs. You're gonna dirty my tank up. Look, got a lot of Today's gonna be a dirty job, I'm really afraid. It's time to get dirty. Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to the channel. Today, doing something for the first time. I've been really, really not looking forward to doing this and, and pushing it off, but it's time it needs to happen. And uh, I know Dunbar has been waiting for me and probably pretty upset with me, but it is time to clean the water tanks out. The first thing I gotta do is get the shut off here turned off to this. To this tire tank i gotta get it shut off so um whenever i did these i put a shut off i'm um, not far from them and i got this pvc stuck in the ground so i could easily identify it and find it and i uh, had to dig it up a little bit but i got the top off and there's our shut off so um and i can just do this without shutting all of them off the other two tire waters and so i can just shut it off here and then i can start cleaning it All right, let's go drain it. Oh, look who it is, Eleanor. Let's give Eleanor some of our own cubes. See, she's smart, she knows. She's like, if I go over on this side of the fence, everybody else is over there, I'll get some cubes. Here you go, Eleanor. Look, got a lot of cubes. Now you're just gonna make everybody else mad. Here they all come. Sorry, Dunbar, cleaning your water tank out, buddy. That's what we wanted. Found the end of the drain. Had to dig it out just a little bit so it would flow, but I found it. There it is. So now we are getting low. Guys. Sorry, Bill. I know you're thirsty, but I'm cleaning it out for you, hon. Cleaning it out for you. I know, I know, I'm sorry. Give me just a little bit. I can't believe what I found in here. It's They've been hidden for a long time, and I wasn't sure if they ever made it. I know they made it through the winter, but uh, guys, the goldfish survived. The two goldfish have survived. I haven't seen them since winter time when this thing was like really clean. Um, but uh, it's been several months, probably five months or so since the last time I saw them. And they have made it. The goldfish have survived. 
two out of about 24 or 25 the first time we put them in here last summer so glad the goldfish survived so i gotta clean this out i got them a little bit of water it's pretty water um but i'm gonna put them in here if i can catch them so i can get all this cleaned out a portable generator a power station i'm gonna use it to power my shop vac to suck all this out of here so let's get it hooked up I'm actually gonna go ahead and scoop out as much of this mud as possible before I use the uh, generator and the shop vac. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop out with a bucket as what I can, and then, uh, then I'll start that. There you go, buddy. I'll get to you in a second. Got him. I don't think uh, I was really ready for this. To, uh, this could be on dirtiest jobs. Where's Mike Rowe when you need him? Yeah, Mike. This looks like looks like crude oil coming out of the tire water. Good lord! This is a lot messier than I thought it was going to be. Meanwhile. They're curious what the heck's going on. Hi. Right? Don't drink the goldfish. Beautiful. You know, you can get a lot done with the shop back. And uh, so now I, uh, I even clean the sidewalls some and and uh, I probably need to go back over and seal some of this right here. This is probably where they, they stepped, um, but that is full of concrete, probably about um, eight inches of concrete right here in the middle. And uh, this is uh, one of the biggest tires we had because we were split in two pastures and um, it's been holding up pretty well. And um, so now I'm going to turn the water back on, get her filled up, put my 
um, drain plug or cap back on and this thing will be ready to go and if we need to I can hold it down and let some of the excess dirt come out even though I know that they're gonna come in here and get this dirty again that needed to be done couple things I'm gonna do I uh, use these last year these barley bags I get them local and um, I, I really like them I think they keep the tanks relatively clean there's the old one that's been in there for oh since winter I think but I'm gonna put this in there you basically put this block of uh, straw in the bag and uh, I put a rock on it just to weigh it down and then uh, it's good to go and then also we got to put our Got to put our goldfish back in the fresh water so we'll be happy. Nope. You don't want to go there. You're going to dirty my tank up. Swim against the current. Last one. The old legend back here, old Dunbar. I'm even rocking a shirt out today for you, Dunbar, my guy. The good thing is, is I got the big water tire uh, all cleaned up and the goldfish are happy. They've got some fresh water. I know there's some of you out there that uh, have, have told me about goldfish, uh, you know, the, the, the waste that they can leave behind and it be damaging to the animals. Um, and, and I'm not sure. I, I'm sure everybody has their own uh, the reasoning and opinions on that. I'm just going to leave them in there. I, you know, relatively, I thought they kept this one pretty clean. And then uh, I put the barley bag in. And then sometimes you can add uh, chlorine tablets uh, to them as well. And uh, so far, everything's been good with the bison um, on these on these tire waters. And and the other thing is. Uh, Man, well, I put my hand down there to feel of that water, and it is cold. So that means it that means it is pumping uh, deep down in that well. Uh, that's where that water is coming from, which is way up there in front of those silos, north of those silos. And uh, so this was the furthest one away, and I think it was a thousand feet from the water well. And uh, well, that was a lot of work. You can go back and watch that process. And man, it was very thrilling to watch water go through these water tanks and uh, such a relief. And we, we built it in the summertime. And so it was a beast. And this is a very rocky place. Um, and so I'm glad it's done. And, and fingers crossed, we haven't had any trouble and it's gone well. That is the toughest part besides building them that I've had to deal with. So that is the good thing as I got that one clean. The bad thing is, is I got two more. So oh that's the uh, that's the bad part maybe i'll get somebody to come help me on those but um it made a huge difference using that shop back out here 
the, the fact that I could power it out here in the middle of a pasture. So you guys missed the big guy. He's doing great. And uh, breeding season is right here. I, I mean, it's, uh, Big Joe is already chasing a female. Um, like I mentioned in my last video, uh, he's, ch he's chasing one of the Texas cows. And so that's a good sign. And uh, I know Dunbar and them uh, will be very soon, if not already. So, hey, thank you guys for watching. We're going to go up to some, a new one. Uh, we're going to go up to some more and get those knocked out. And uh, we guys will keep you updated on everything. And uh, happy to see the goldfish survived. And uh, got fresh water here for these bison. And uh, if you guys don't think I love bison and care about them, I promise you that was a, a dirty job. <laughs> we'll see you guys soon.